What's going on guys? Andrew Pillick Hockey here back again with another video. Day two of free agency. And uh, before stuff gets going, I wanted to make a video to up update you guys on the potential of what the Maple Leafs could do. Do they have the money for it? And we're going to be talking about two specific names. You've probably seen them in the title. But before we get any further, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Join the squad. I'd love to have you guys here. I know there's a ton of you guys watching these videos that aren't subscribed and listen I'm a very busy guy so liking and subscribing helps me and it motivates me to keep going for you guys uh, and I love making these videos and I'd love to make it my full-time gig one day and I'm trying for that so liking and subscribing helps the most but I don't want to waste more of your time we are going to be talking about Tyler Bertuzzi and Max Domi now these two before I maybe before I get into that information are probably the best fit for the Maple Leafs going forward now a lot of people might not agree with that, maybe on the Max Domi side of things, but hear me out for a second. And this is why I was a little bit pissed off about the Leafs sign, signing Ryan Reeves and signing John Klingberg and signing da even David Kampf, right? So we signed John Klingberg for over $4 million. Eric Gustafson, who is on the Leafs also that we could have just held on to for less than a million dollars, maybe even given him just over a million dollars. That guy had more points than Klingberg and signed for less than a million dollars. I believe it was with the New York Rangers, right? So we could have held on to him and saved that $3 million. David Kampf signed for more money than Noel Achari. We could have saved about four or $500,000 on him and got a better player, in my opinion. Led the playoffs in hits and we are eliminated in the second round. And Ryan Reeves... I like him. He's a character guy. $1.3 million. Sure, technically you could bury that contract. But you could have used that money for guys like Bertuzzi or Domi that are going to put up points but also be a pest. Because I think Tyler Bertuzzi is the best player available in my opinion. And I think he was since the first day. But uh, I don't know if the Leafs will be able to afford him if he wants 5 or $6 million. And it kind of looks like the Leafs are kind of zoned in on Max Domi. But again, we'll get into those things like we I, I want to make a video showing how I wanted the roster to look like and how I would have put the money out. Um, but again, we'll have to see because they're still interested and there's lots of time and there still could be trades and there's a bunch of stuff going on. But Chris Johnston tweeting on July 1st that the Leafs are among the teams still showing interest in forward Max Domi as we get into day one, get late into day one of NHL free agency. Followed up by David Pagnota of the fourth period, uh, also tweeting out that uh, late last night that as Max Domi weighs his options with Toronto and Nashville among them, the Maple Leafs seem to be slow playing things. His energy would be a welcome fit in the top nine role. A multi-year deal would likely be likely if they can agree on the money. Now, I believe Chris Johnson also put in his North Star betting piece um that there's not really the market that the Domi camp probably thought they had uh, and maybe I misread that um again sorry if I look over I'm going to check my phone to make sure nothing happens while I'm filming this but I don't think the Domi um like camp or maybe the the Domi team or whatever or even Max himself uh, expected to not have the market uh, that he's getting because I, I think that the market is not as strong for him as I think a lot of people expected him to be. Now, if we look at Max Domi, he's a physical guy, 28 years old, of course. His father, Ty Domi, was one of my favorite players growing up, real fighter, guy that did a bit of everything for the Maple Leafs. Um, you know, Domi was okay in Dallas when he got traded there, seven points in 20 games, but in the playoffs, he had 13 points in 19 games. Pretty good for a guy that you would consider to be a second or third line forward. Um, with Chicago, he was very good. Uh, 49 points in 60 games. Uh, and then previous to that, Carolina, he had 7 in 19, 6 in 14 in the playoffs. And uh, he scored, he, he, he's a 20 goal scorer. You know, he scored 20 uh, once. I mean, when he scored 28, but he, he's gotten to 18 a couple times. And I don't think that that that's necessarily a bad thing and if he was playing in Toronto you would have to imagine that they would try him on those one of those top two lines and when you play with those guys you know you're, you're gonna you're gonna pot a few extra goals because you're playing with really good players and for him to do that on Chicago um, and, and for him to do that on teams like Columbus and 
you know, even Arizona and Montreal, like those weren't always great teams, right? So uh, if I'm the Leafs, I am strongly considering it and I wouldn't be against it, to be honest with you. I actually kind of hope it happens because Domi is a pest, but if he can give you points, like he's basically replacing the physicality of Michael Bunting and he's going to give you similar number numbers to Michael Bunting. And I'm actually positive that he's probably going to get less than what Bunting got, which was four and a half million dollars. So, and again, that's just a prediction. That's just something that I think, because I think, you know, just in terms of um, the way that they play, I think maybe he, Domi's not getting the market that Bunting's getting. I don't know if that's because Bunting played in Toronto and the, the media and whatever else, but, and, and he's younger too, but the, the fact of the matter is, is I just think that it's just an opportunity for the Leafs to use somebody like Domi to create space for some of your bigger name players. Because if let's say, let's say Domi signs and the Leafs keep Nylander, right? And you run a second line that's like Domi, Tavares, Nylander. And again, this is all hypothetical. It's just trying to explain my point. You do that and you know, somebody hits Willie a few times, give him an extra whack. Domi's going to be in there if Nylander gets whacked a couple times, right? So that's that's what you want. You want your stars to feel a little bit more protect, protected because I'm going to tell you guys right now, Ryan Reeves is not going to be on the ice when Matthews and, and Nylander and these guys get hit, right? So the Reeves thing is a little puzz, puzzling to me. People are like, oh, you know, he'll... He'll show other teams not to mess with us. Yeah, he's never on the ice. So it's not it's not going to happen like that. So, um, again, I think Max Domi is a good fit. Uh, but I also wanted to touch on Tyler Bertuzzi. Now, Jonas Siegel saying yesterday that the Leafs are, expect, as expected, have ex expressed interest in Tyler Bertuzzi, as they should. The guy's a real physical guy, um, but he also can give you good stats. He'll give you good numbers. And... You know, he's 28 years old, much like Domi. Uh, he's gotten some pretty decent contracts before, so I think he'll be in the 5 to $6 million range. But last year with the Bruins, when he got shipped over there, 16 points in 21 games, 10 points in 7 playoff games, including 5 goals. Uh, and then if you look at his numbers, like he scored 20 a couple times. He's got a 30-goal season under his belt. Like this is a good hockey player. Um, so I'm interested. Uh, if anybody could be a Leaf today... I would say Tyler Bertuzzi is the best fit. He's a pest. He can score. He can easily play in that top six. Um, and and I'm just hoping that the Leafs are as interested as you know as all the fans are because it just makes sense. Now, if the Leafs have about 7.1 million dollars in cap space, and the reason why I have it at that number is because I've sent down Connor Timmins and buried his contract, and Max Lajoie. I've already uh, also buried him. I brought up Nick Robertson and, of course, the additions of David Camp, Ryan Reeves, and John Klingberg. And again, there could be more movement here. There could be more movement on the player side. But hypothetically, let's just say this is what it roughly is going to look like. And, of course, we're going to do we're going to do this. But again, this is just a rough estimate, right? Um, the Leafs have enough money to go out there and, and sign a Bertuzzi or a Max Domi easily um, because they're not going to be demanding $7 million. But... You know, it, it makes you wonder, like, can you really do anything else after that? Now, Matt Murray is going to be traded or, you know, put on LTIR or something, bought out, whatever they're whatever they're going to figure that out. I don't I think Samsonov's going to get less than this. I think he'll probably end up in the three point seven to three point eight million dollar range. So the Leafs will save a little bit of money there. But I think the Leafs have to still upgrade here again. It seems silly that we signed David Camp. And Ryan Reeves to these deals because you could have had both of Domi and uh, Bertuzzi if you just didn't sign these guys. But again, that's that's just my opinion. But the Leafs still need to make one or two more moves for me to think that this team is better because I honestly think they got worse. Uh, and I know people are not going to be happy with me saying that, but I, I honestly think that this team is worse. Uh, the blue line just got worse because John Klingberg doesn't play defense. Uh, and I mean, Ryan Reeves is never going to be on the ice. He'll play like maybe seven minutes a game. And David Kampf is a good hockey player, but for $2.4 million, I don't want David Kampf playing at that price. It's a slight upgrade and I like David Kampf again, but I just don't see the value in $2.4 million for him. Now in a couple of years, that deal will be nothing because the cap is going to go up, but 
it doesn't matter. I, I just would have rather the Leafs get physical, but with guys that actually can play hockey. And that's no knock on Ryan Reeves. I'm going to be his biggest fan all year. I love Ryan Reeves. But if I'm looking at this like, you know, how we should be looking at it, then it doesn't make a lot of sense. But I'm really hoping that the Leafs get one or both somehow of Domi and Bertuzzi. But uh, it's looking more and more like the Leafs could be in the finalists for a guy like Max Domi. I think Bertuzzi is just going to price himself out of Toronto, especially if the Leafs do end up with Max Domi. So if you guys are new here, like this video and subscribe. Join the squad. Make sure to uh, sound off in the comments. I love and appreciate you guys as always. Thank you so much for supporting. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.